Hi, this is Eric Horn with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Sarah Erickson from Renegade Game Studios looking at Kepler 3042, 3042, one of those. And this is a new edition of a game that was released one or two years ago. Yeah, we actually found it at some last year. So oh, this is our one year good. anniversary with this fantastic game. Okay. <laughs> so you signed it, I guess, for North American release? Uh, for English distribution. Oh, English distribution. And have a new edition of the game. Yeah, so we completely revamped all the artwork and then Dustin Schwartz went through and redid the rule book, so it's so Dustin, really, really top notch. Dustin's, Dustin's amazing. Awesome. And it's a really fantastic exploration, exploitation uh, type of game where you are starting here in the very middle at, with your spaceship and you have to go out to these plants, you colonize them, you collect resources, and then you use those resources to increase your tech tree to allow you to do different things. So you have these resources here in your pool, which you'll, oh, we can put that, we'll just put that out there. Uh, you can spend these resources to do various upgrades on your tech tree here. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, but on your turn, you're going to take one, one action on this board. And these actions do all sorts of various things, like giving you extra ships so that you can explore more. They allow you to upgrade your tech tree over here. They allow you to... To uh, take some uh, increase on these boards, which will give you extra opportunities for bonus points. So there's a lot of different things that you do on this board as you select your actions, and then this board gives you different uh, flows. It's a chart to figure out what you want to specialize in. So every time you play the game, you can really decide: I really want to go for the best space travel. I want to get way to the outer edge of the universe because these planets are way out here. You can sort of see this line. Those planets are going to be worth more points and be bigger and better than the ones closer in. Okay. And, yeah. and these numbers right here, that's not victory points. It's just to help you find that card in the deck. So let's say you were able to find planet number 11, then you would need to have two resources to be able to colonize that. And now when you flip it over, you see it's now a new image, and that's going to give you that many victory points at the end of the game. And there's different types of planets, so you might want to have this uh, set of everything. You'll get different points depending on what things are available, what uh, goals there are. So like this is a red planet. And you're going to be flipping over these cards each round that tell you things like players must reveal four celestial bodies, which are these, at a time in turn order. So these cards affect every round and give you either mini goals or little global events that happen. So you might have this perfectly planned out uh, idea of what you want to do for the next 12 turns, but then all of a sudden these cards really mess you up. Which that is, that, it's is really good. impressive if you can plan out the next 12 turns. You kind of have to a little okay. bit. It's one of those games you want to have a strategy for right. the whole game by turn three or four, but you have to be flexible because it's not going to work out how you want it to. But there's enough information that you have and so little variance that you can have a good plan. Okay, except for other players. Other players will mess it up a little. Yeah. They'll bother you to some extent, but you're never going to be attacked by other players. So this is a 3x game instead of a 4x game. Okay. All right. Anything else to say? Or? I know this I know is when... coming out in December. Okay. And yeah, we're very excited. The artwork is done by Quanche Moria. It's just fabulous. And so all of the player boards, all of the icons, all the cards have been redone. And one of my favorite things in this um, is all of the players have a double-sided board, so you can choose either one of those characters. This was originally a Kickstarter, so all of those characters were people that pledged in the Kickstarter for the original version of the game. Okay. So we kept their same images and then just redid them with the new art. Right. It's very cool. Yeah.